Hey guys, check this out. We got another fat cat bureaucratic Becky politician here having some problems putting on a mask. He's walking out to do a press conference representing the government and <laughs> the mask is off. The saying is really true that politics is just Hollywood for ugly people. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukadowski of WeAreChange.org. A lot of important news to get into today, especially the surprising announcement from U.S. Senator Rand Paul about the 2021 NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, which now allegedly U.S. President Donald Trump can't veto, and it has some shocking clauses in there that we're going to be talking about in this video. But before we get into that, in other news, it's also important to note that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have been named Time Magazine's, quote, person of the year, while Trump has been labeled the loser of the year. Of course, no bias here at all. There's no favoritism here at all. As, of course, the mainstream media is becoming more and more weaponized rather than, you know, actual journalists and reporters that are supposed to keep power accountable. Well, all of that's out the door, especially this year, especially if you look at the ties that many of these multinational corporations and conglomerates that are a part of the media and their ties to special interests and foreign powers like China. And while Americans are being sold down the rivers by billionaires selling out to China, who essentially live above the law, could do whatever they want and not face any legal repercussions for it, in the meantime... In the Western world, there are mothers that are literally arrested, processed, and sent to court to face criminal charges because they allegedly called a trans woman he on Twitter. Yes, a woman was dragged to court and faced criminal penalties in the United Kingdom for, for calling someone that was born a male he. Now, this mother was previously arrested in front of her children because of this complaint and was found guilty of these charges and now, just now, was able to overturn them. There's absolute serious financial crimes happening right now by the upper echelons of the banking elites and we're going after mothers for uh, making some comments online. Are you freaking kidding me? Just shows you how inept and corrupt our society is. And in related news, we have some interesting developments surrounding the conholio sickness jab, which as you know, we covered here, in some instances has led to facial paralysis and aphylactic shock. And now we're learning in Australia a false positive for HIV. Yes, in Australia, they are canceling the entire development of their conholio sickness jab after several patients had, quote, false positive tests for HIV. More major troubling news for the jab that it's looking like it's becoming more problematic as we've been telling you on this independent media channel that it would be. But with all of these problems, Donald Trump is still putting pressure on the FDA, recently lambasting them and attacking them verbally, calling them big old slow turtles because he wants the conholio sickness jab out, quote, now. And it's important to note here that the FDA is already rushing the trials and their deadlines surrounding this. And very interestingly, some Democratic lawmakers share this enthusiasm with U.S. President Donald Trump, as in New Jersey. We have lawmakers makers wanting to make it mandatory for children to get the conholio sickness jab without exception, specifically requiring children to get the jab as a condition to, quote, entering school, despite being the least at risk group. Now, we also know New York is also pushing for similar legislation. And uh, in my own opinion, that is definitely not warranted. And that's me expressing my opinion very lightly, since as we know, if you express your opinions on this too strongly, YouTube will essentially give you the axe. So again, we're going to tell you what we've been telling you for a very long time. Do your own research, do your own homework, talk to your own medical professionals, and always make sure that you make the right decision for yourself. There's a lot of research and homework you guys need to do, but it's more imperative that you need to do it right now. Also, because of the totalitarian censorship, we are fully demonetized. But that is A-OK -okay because we have wearechange.org forward slash donate where we just started to list our commission and affiliate sales that we have with a large number of clients that I personally use, that I personally like. 
And it's kind of like a little store that we have set up here. We also have our band t-shirts, mushrooms, herbs, water filters, storable food, collagen, VPNs, and also customized probiotics that I've been using for about two months. And I could say I definitely personally really like this product myself. And if you're interested in any of these, just go to wearechange.org forward slash donate because your purchases through our specific link helps us out tremendously. So yeah, check out our new store section on wearechange.org forward slash donate. Go there right now. We got a lot of products. Just click the link down in the description below. Also, great ideas for Christmas gifts here especially for all your friends and family members that are actually paying attention to what's going on. Now, I think it's very important for a lot of people to realize that during this economic turmoil, this absolute pain and suffering that has been brought down, not because of a sickness, but because of government actions that everyone is being devastated from, while we are suffering more than ever, the U.S. government is allocating hundreds of billions of dollars for the U.S. military industrial complex. And the cartoon in front of your screen right now is actually from the early 1900s, and it's absolutely shocking since, of course, not much has changed in this specific regard of just the ultimate funneling of all of our money towards defense. And it's not really defense that we're funding, it's more offense, no bid government contracts, and pork that is absolutely being wasted for absolutely no reason at all. The United States still has a military force in Afghanistan, after we found out through the Afghanistan papers that even the United States military doesn't know why it's there. Yes, literally, according to the U.S. Pentagon, according to the U.S. military, there is no reason at all. This is from declassified government documents that the United States has a presence in Afghanistan. It serves no purpose. It doesn't help anyone, but we're spending and wasting trillions of dollars on that country. Meanwhile, more than ever, there's a major crisis, especially economically, happening here in the United States. And just because the stock market is doing good doesn't mean that financially, economically, we're doing good at all. Almost 23% of all U.S. dollars were printed this year. More is going to be printed, and the majority of that money is going to the military-industrial complex. All of this is going through the National Defense Bill called the NDAA, called the National Defense Authorization Act, which funds this huge, bureaucratic, socialistic beast. And it was passed with more than two-thirds of a majority in the U.S. House of Representatives in the Congress, which means... Donald Trump won't be able to veto it, which he has been threatening to do. Donald Trump recently came out and said if Section 230 that protects websites from liability is not repealed, he will veto the NDA. And now it looks like he won't be able to do so with this two-thirds majority, of course, voting for this military giant without most likely even reading it. Again, we're talking about 740 billion billion dollars for what what do we get what do the american people get from this talk about wasteful spending that absolutely provides no real or logical service to the united states at all financing the military sure wh whatever we could allocate some some money there but when it comes to the pork in this bill it is absolutely absurd. Along with spending, there are also some initiatives in this NDAA, and apparently this one allows U.S. government agencies to purchase and buy Chinese-made spy drones and to use them however they want. Also, another stipulation in this bill is that specifically, the U.S. president cannot end a war. Yes, I am not joking you. This NDAA prevents the United States president from stopping a war and ongoing conflict. It's not a joke here, and only U.S. Senator Rand Paul is one of the few politicians actually railing against this, which he is rightfully doing so. As Rand Paul went off on the Senate floor saying that, quote, these neocons put forth a belief that the commander-in-chief has virtually unlimited power to initiate war, but they are just fine with preventing the commander-in-chief from ending a war. And when you look at this specific provision, they want congressional approval to end a war. And as Rand Paul says, they don't do that when they want him to start a war, which is absolutely hypocritical and disgusting. Now, why are politicians proposing this outright bastardized version of a law? 
Well, it's because U.S. President Donald Trump has been threatening to keep his campaign promise and to send all the troops home. And as I've been covering here on this independent media channel, we've been covering the limited withdrawals that we just saw in Somalia and Afghanistan. But we also marked and understood that if Donald Trump really wanted to put Joe Biden in a predicament, he would send all the troops home and then Joe Biden would have to argue for what good reason we need to send them back. And of course, there aren't any good reasons, and this would be a checkmate move by Donald Trump, which we have been talking about as a very good strategic one for him to make. Now, there are no indications that he will make this sign, but lawmakers proposing this makes us believe that he might be closer to this than we actually know. And with this current provision, I definitely hope the NDAA does not get passed because this is a bastardization of our government by special interests and the military industrial complex that want to have their way with us. And that's utterly disgusting. We should do everything in our power to prevent this from happening. Since of course the government will take more and more power and authority from themselves whenever they can. And of course limit actual sovereignty, freedom and liberty at all costs, like we're seeing right now in Australia, a country that recently went through massive gun confiscations of its citizens' rights to defend themselves and now is trying to pass a surveillance bill that it will allow children as young as 14 to be interrogated by government agents and it could see journalists jailed for up to five years for refusing to reveal a source of information. All the while, the government in Australia could hack, take over, add, copy, and delete materials on people's personal computers with absolute impunity. Essentially, they're trying to set up a dictatorship by decree, and historically, these are what governments do, especially after they disarm the public. So yeah, no surprise that this is happening in Australia. We have also seen very similar measures in Canada from, of course, their prime minister that previously admitted that he admires the Chinese dictatorship for their effectiveness. I am not kidding you, Justin Trudeau literally said that himself personally. So yeah, definitely paying attention to Canada and Australia after their gun confiscation measures is something that has been very interesting to see since the government is becoming more and more intrusive into the average daily lives of innocent civilians that just want to live their own lives. In similar news, disarmed states like New York and California are also putting in more draconian measures with, of course, lockdowns like we saw in New York just moments ago where the governor banned indoor dining completely and in california where even outdoor dining was recently overturned because a court of law so saw absolutely no evidence at all that it did anything to help or prevent the sickness from going around all the while the governor of california and his companies are enriching themselves with relief money as everyone is left devastated and in utter pain and misery from their actions and moves that is destroying people's ability to be able to support themselves and put food on their table. In New York, the situation is so dire that the governor is literally planning on turning many of the offices and storefronts in New York City into, quote, residential apartments and uh, again we have to understand here many people live in new york city because of their jobs once the jobs leaves w w what makes you think that they're going to <laughs> want to live there a lot of people left including myself and i am never ever coming back to that hellhole. So yeah, one of the reasons why I was able to do that and have a little bit of, of freedom, the, the ability to actually go out on my own was because of your support, your donations, your contributions, you guys checking out our affiliates. And if it wasn't for you supporting us, sharing this video, getting it out there, being a part of a larger community that is not afraid to have real and serious conversations, I wouldn't be here. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on We Are Change dot org.